All right, video time. Today we are going to talk about 48 volt lithium iron phosphate battery systems. This right here, 74 amp power, 48 volt, right? 16S battery system right here. I made a video where I showed you how to install this into the wall like this, but people have been asking, what about if you want to install this outside? How do you do it? And today I'm going to tackle that project. I'm going to show you what you need to get so you can uh, install this inside of a weatherproof box electrical box this is everything that you will need you will need the box right i will put a link on amazon where i bought this then you will need your 16 cells lev uh 60 these are uh cells that are very very good quality they put out a lot of power right and they're very very affordable at jack35.com i'll put that in link to that one also and then you will need the 48 volt bus bar kit this is a big pcb bus bar system that I designed so that it's very, very easy for first timers uh, to build a battery system sort of like this. Now taking out all the guesswork, right? Everything is labeled. It's got the connectors in here so you can put the BMS, all this other stuff. So you will need that. Then you will need the 48 volt uh, compression kit, right? And that comes with all those screws and stuff. After that, it's just a few more little things like screws and you know, hardware. But that's it, this is basically what you need. Now let's put that into the wall. Let's start assembling this battery system inside that box. Step one, screw the box into the wall, right? Of course, it goes without saying, make sure you hit studs or make sure you have a backer like this. You're gonna put a bunch of heavy batteries inside this box so this got to be properly secure, right? All right, this next piece here goes in the back. All right, so this is how the inside of the box looks like now. It's got two screws in every corner there. It's got this semi-flat surface there so that we can put our batteries in there. Okay, next we're gonna drill some holes on the top of this box here. And here's the idea. This is a compression plate. And the idea is that we're going to compress the batteries up against this, the top uh side of this box right and we're going to use these threaded rods so these go through here and so we need to make some holes at the top so in order to make sure we put those holes in the right spot well we have this as our guide what we're going to do is we're going to put it over here mark it then drill it and then uh, we're going to use these rib nuts and the idea behind this is that even though we we're gonna make a hole on the top of this box, well, once we set these in there, the box is still gonna remain weather tight because these uh, are sealed from the top. So I don't know if it's actually gonna work. We're gonna try it out. All right, so I just installed these and it didn't quite work the way that I was trying to do it. It worked more the way that I originally envisioned. I thought I was gonna do it like this because I thought those had a hole that passed through, but once I realized that they didn't, then I thought, okay, we'll just put them backwards and then we'll stick this thing up here. It doesn't matter, it's the top of the cabinet. It's like, nobody needs it up here. It'll be water uh, tight, it'll be fine. But it didn't work, it was too much trouble to try to use the tool to go in there so it was easier to do it from the from the top you know uh to the bottom right and so what i ended up having to do was just drilling the tips of those and then just passing the rod all the way through so now in order to seal this what we have to do is just cut this once we finalize and uh finish uh strapping the batteries in here then we'll cut this flush and then we could put a dab of uh, silicone in here, right? And then that way the water doesn't go in there and doesn't go inside of the box. So now let's uh, put the, the cells in here and strap them up. All right, so now we're gonna start installing the cells, but how do you put them in there? Well, just follow the instructions of this bus bar, right? So positive and then negative, right? So those are actually backwards, right? So we have to put the positive towards the inside. And you start with the bottom ones. 
and then you work your way up to the top. So here we go. There we go. Positive on this side, negative on that. And now you just, just alternate. Positive here, neg the next one's gonna be negative here, and then positive and then negative and positive and negative. That way, all the way to the top. Next, we're gonna install these. These are like little bus bars. Uh, and again, you follow the instructions of the main board. You see those right there? So you just follow those, put them in there, and then last thing, you put the board on top, put the uh, washers, and then put the nuts. And then you, you don't tighten it, don't over tighten it because we're still gonna move this whole thing up. The next step is gonna be a bit sketchy. What we have to do is basically lift up the entire pack and then tighten the bolts on the bottom, right? And so I'm gonna use that piece of wood right there and I'm gonna wedge it and then push it up and then tighten the thing, so. Okay, next what we have to do is uh, put a screw or a screws down there so that we could attach to this whole pack to the wall right on the bottom there uh, self tappers would work best if not you're going to need a long um drill bit so you can drill right through the metal there and then you can go all the way down to the wall next we're gonna install a uh, very minimalistic bms in here of course you have the options here to do whatever bms from this small one the best basic one to all the way to like a full-fledged bms but today all we're gonna do is we're gonna install a couple of these battery go bg-8s let's talk about BMS this one has these little uh, terminals in here that allow you to very easily install your BMS leads in here right uh, you can put any BMS that will handle 16 cells uh, and that it works with lithium iron phosphate right and it could be fully fledged you know with all kinds of bells and whistles in there with screens and all this other stuff or you could use some very basic like we're doing here. This is just two Batco's balancers, right? These little devices here, all they do is just monitor your cell voltages and then you can come in here and tell it to balance if they're falling and drifting apart, right? Uh, they, they, you can set them up with like little alarms. So after they reach like a certain voltage or whatever, they'll start beeping. And of course, since they're inside here, maybe you won't hear them, but you know, definitely these batteries are brand new. They're all very alike. So you could get away with something as small as this. These are very safe. Uh, they don't catch fire, right? When they fail, they, they just, you know, they don't fail the same way that the ones in the Tesla will do, right? So, so yeah, you could, you could probably do this if you wanted to save some money or whatever, or you can just go and get like a full on, full fledged BMS if you wanted to. But whether you go basic or you go full on, this will make it really easy for you to do it because it's all, marked in here it even has all these uh this diagram here so you'd be able to see exactly which pin is goes where and then uh with these little connectors here like it's super easy to connect i didn't even have to fiddle that much with it right and so this keeps it clean and super easy to install your bms whichever bms you decide to go with okay last thing to do is to cut the uh all thread from the top and then we're done All right, so there it is. This is a battery 
encased in this uh, watertight electrical enclosure. You can install this inside, you can install this outside. The only thing that you have left to do is install this little cover that goes on the bottom here. But of course, this is a blank plate. You have to drill your hole so you can put your conduit, right? Uh, and then you can put the connection in there and stuff and then you install it. Um, so the question is, why would you want to do this instead of like maybe just buying one of those? This is a 48 volt battery. It's already plug and play. You can just buy it, right? And the reason is because you could do this way cheaper. You know, that the, this is like $1,600 or something like that for 5.2 kilowatt hours. This is less, a little bit less at 74 amp hours. This is a, just shy of four kilowatt hours, but you can get these cells way cheaper right now. Currently, if you buy 16 cells to make a 48 volt system like this, these cells are at $30 a cell. So that's about $480 worth of the uh, battery, right? Of course, yes, then you have the case and then you have the fancy BMS and then the bus bars and then all this other hardware, right? Well, yeah, the, the case is about $100 in Amazon. The fancy BMS is about $100, right? So you're like at 600. This is like another 50 and then like 50. You're somewhere around $700, which is around half price what you would pay for this. So the savings are considerable. And you know, uh, every time I do these videos, it's always like, yeah, but it's, you know, NMC chemistry. It's the batteries won't last as long. It's not a safe. Here for the first time, this is the same stuff. This is the same chemistry that's in there, right? And these are brand new cells. These are very high quality Japanese cells, not the Chinese stuff that it's in there. Uh, yeah, this is really high quality stuff. Same lifespan, the same safety margins, uh, and you can do it for half the price. So if you're into saving money and you're not afraid to DIY, a bit, you know, get some pliers and get screwdriver and some wrenches and stuff and, you know, drill a few holes like we did here. This is an easy, really easy way to save a lot of money by building uh, your own battery system, right? How much? Well, about half. This is very, very compelling. So I'm gonna put a code on the description of this video so that you can uh, get that special pricing for these cells. Uh, 30 dollars $30 a cell, right? So then, uh, when you buy sixteen, it's gonna be like about four hundred and eighty dollars. All right, and with that, I want to thank you for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, here's how you order uh, these cells at the special pricing. You go to jack35.com, then you go. Oh, look at that price drop right at the thing here. So you come here and then the drop down menu shows you one cell for $41 and then one box of six cells. And then you go into the third option here, 16 cells for $48, I mean 48 volts. And then that brings you to $479. You do the math, divide that by 16, you come down to just a tiny little less than $30 a cell. So that's how you get a special deal and uh, then you can build your own power wall just like we did in this video all right see you guys on the next video bye